The Rocks Across from Teufel is the Bluetooth speaker from the bigger side. It's 38 centimeters wide, 16 centimeters high and 13 centimeters deep. And it weighs 2.4 kilograms. Hi, I'm Esperto. Welcome to my channel. And I make reviews, tutorials and anything else related to photos, videos, computer technologies and more. Let's have a quick look on the function buttons. We have volume up and down and play pause. Play pause in combination with volume up or volume down. You can skip the track for or backwards. And the voice assistant button. Which voice assistant, of course, depends on your smartphone if you have Android or Apple, iOS. The on off button with a battery indicator, then auto mode. What exactly the auto mode does is nowhere really explained in the manual or th somewhere else, but you can hear clearly they push up the highs if you activate the auto mode. The Bluetooth pairing button and the connect feature button, which means if you or your friend have another Rockstar Cross, you can connect them together to one smartphone for more output, of course. Down here we have the aux in, power plug in, micro USB for service and a USB-A port for charging. Yes, it also can be used as a power bank, so you can charge any device, but only with two and a half watts, so very slowly. But also that leads to a shorter runtime of your speaker. Connection wise, it handles iOS and Android. It has the aptX codec, which is a codec for higher music quality and uh, yeah, synchrony, uh, synchron audio uh, for video playback, but aptX is not available for iPhones or iPads because Apple tried to use their own codecs, which is AAC. The speaker is IPX5 rated, which means, um, yeah, a water splash is no problem for it, but you shouldn't take it uh, into the pool, of course. Um, Teufel claims a runtime about 16 hours. Of course, it also depends how loud you listen to the music and if you use it as a power bank too. Now let's have a look what's inside. We have two 20mm tweeters and one 120mm woofer, which covers a frequency range from 50Hz to 20kHz. It has a class D amplifier for high distortion free levels large tweeters on both sides for full true stereo sound and two passive diaphragms for a strong bass foundation. Integrated long stroke subwoofers for precise bass. After a couple months uh, in use I can say it sounds great for its size of course. Uh, maybe a little bit uh, too bass heavy but it's the right amount for me. Uh, the stereo separation is good because of its shapes and outer looking uh, speakers. The speaker also has the ability to lean back so that it faces upwards a little bit. Now to the question, how portable is this speaker? Someone will may consider that this one is small and portable. But the Teufel is a lot heavier and bigger. Surprisingly, it is very handy. It doesn't matter where you will grab the speaker, you will have a good grip anytime. It's rubberized almost everywhere and it's due to its shape and corners, your hand have always a good grip. Teufel will give you a strap to the speaker, 
which is from which has metal carabiners and you can attach them to these lashes. So when you carry the speaker over your shoulder, the rounded shape will please your ribs or back or wherever you will carry your speaker. Despite it weighs 2.4 kilogram, it never feels that heavy except you have to carry around in your hand for several hours, which is of course not a normal use case. One good thing in my perspective is it doesn't come with a companion app, so you just turn on your speakers, connect with your device and listen to music. No registration is, registration is needed and whatsoever. Good. Now we could say the speaker is perfect. Not quite. One thing, for example, if you have your straps on and you listen to medium loud music with some bass, for example, the vibration of the speaker or of the bass uh, will pass to the metal carabiner and they will make some rattle noise and that sounds terrible. In some very rare cases, if you grab uh, the speaker like I showed you on the beginning, uh, it can happen that you push one of these buttons in the back. In my case, I often push the pairing, Bluetooth pairing button, so I have to reconnect uh, the Bluetooth speaker again, which is sometimes annoying. And also, the buttons aren't quite easy to read on the first side because they are not have no white accents or something like that to for easy reading. Due to its size, it can only be charged with a with its own charger, so no USB charging is possible, which is quite a bummer. But or for its size, it's also understandable. Another, in my opinion, critical flaw is if you lean back the speaker and you put it on any desk or high cabinet and listen to loud music with some heavy bass, yeah, the Teufel learns to walk. <laughs> the, ba the bass is so strong that it moves forward with tiny steps. And if you don't think about it, put it on a table, it, it will fall sooner or later. The Teufel Rockstar Cross is still three years on the market, a fantastic Bluetooth speaker. It's on the border between portable and too chunky to carry around with you. Its shape and size is so well designed that you have no problems to grab it anywhere, anytime. It's very powerful, so, so you have no problems filling up a bigger room or a smaller studio with music. At the same time, uh, you have a power bank with you. Now, Teufel sells their speakers or their products only on their own website. So that means it still costs about 350 euros. But it pays off to have an eye on their website. From time to time, they have special sales. So for example, you can uh, buy for the Rockstar Cross for 280 euros, which is have a discount of 20%. Now, what do you think? Is the Teufel too chunky or not? Write your opinion down in the comment section. And if you like this video, I would appreciate if you hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have some videos in the making. Maybe I will switch to an Apple product for the first time. Can I handle it? I don't know. We will see. And also my NAS server is quite a decade old now, so I should upgrade it. And if you want to know what requirements your PC must have if you want to buy a NVMe SSD expansion card from ASUS, click this video here. Bye.